Now the field now moving in. Now Demp's Hope has gone forward. So they're getting set. Casual Zarez, Arena of War, Kentucky Data, Franken Beans and Stank and Bernays to move in as Kentucky Data goes up for Chelsea McFarlane. So two in the gates and four to move in at the 1400. Into odds on on the fixed market, Arena of War, 250 into $2 on track. So it's been heavily backed here, Arena of War. Uh, got four to move in. Here's the race favourite about to move in. Arena of War. And that will be Stank and Bernays, Frank and Beans and Casuals. There is to move up. So Arena of War is lined in. So three to move in at the 1400. Casuals there is about to move in for Brendan Ward. So two to move up. Stank and Bernays and Frank and Beans. On the tote, 190 Arena of War. 480 Stank and Bernays and 520 for Casual Zariz. Now Stank and Bernays walking up into the gates. And we are nearing a start here at the 1400. Heavily backed Arena of War now. 250 into $2 on track. Into 195, 190 on the fixed market. Now 190 on the tote. So very popular here, Arena of War. So Frank and Beans goes in. And we're right to go at the 1400. Deb's Hope has the inside. Red lights on. Racing now. And Arena of War got away sweetly. Jumped about third. Stank and Bernays in Kentucky Dart are the first couple. Arena of War is third. And Deb's Hope is fourth the inside. And Frank and Beans is next. And a length away last of all is Casual Zariz. Only a saunter early here. And Kentucky Dart has got the lead by a neck from Stank and Bernays. A length and a half away third. Frank and Beans on the outside. Arena of War is next. And then Deb's Hope the inside. And Casual Zariz is last of all. There's five lengths top end to tail and Kentucky data for Chelsea McFarlane's on top by half a length here from Stank and Bernays and Frank and Beans a length and a half away third. Arena of War is fourth about five lengths off the leader. Deb Sofa a length and a half away and Casuals are the outside as last of all. Kentucky data down the Barton Highway side out by half a length here from Stank and Bernays and Frank and Beans a length and a half away third inside the 600. Arena of War has tapped along fourth about five lengths off the leader. Not travelling at all well at the moment. Arena of War is being passed by Casual Zariz on the outside and Deb's Hope the inside is last of all as they swing around the home turn. Kentucky Dart of the 400 metres mark led by a length and a half to Stake and Bernays. Frank and Beans running home. Arena of War is back in the field still down over on the inside as Deb's Hope and Casual Zariz is running home down the outside. Kentucky Dart of Frank and Beans on the outside. Deb's Hope Kentucky Dart of Frank and Beans Frank and Beans goes to Kentucky Dart Frank and Beans just the leader and Frank and Beans. Frank and Beans Punched out, draws away, wins by a length and a half to Kentucky Data. Deb Sapel hold third, just ahead of Casual Zariz. Stake and Bernays, and boy, oh boy, Arena of War. He looked in some froth and bubble a long way from home, and he was last. Frank and Beans, number eight, the winner. Jeff Penzer for Donna Grisdale at 17.80 and 4.80. The outsider on the field has drawn away to win. Jeffrey Penzer, the winning rider. And that is a double for Jeff after Astro Dance took out race three for Keith Ryden. And he bounces back, Frank and Beans. Uh, he was beaten at the Yas Picnics back in February. He's had uh, two runs back from a spell, not far behind the Devil's Mark at Kembla. And uh, he's handled the heavy 10 best of all to take out race six on the program as we wait confirmation of all details here. Frank and Beans out toughing Kentucky data. And Deb's Hope, number four in third placing. So eight, seven and four are the placings after race six on the card. 130.93 is the time. 39, gee, 99 the last 600. 130.93, 39.99. It's eight, seven, four and three casuals there is was officially fourth. So eight, seven, four and Very three. Very unlucky and Blake was so happy with the run he wanted to stick with the horse. It gave me a bit of a good feel but I know the horse can be a bit up and down but look perhaps he's now regaining some Well he always showed you a lot of potential as a young horse didn't he? He promised the world to us in the beginning so to say he's been a bit of a disappointment I guess he has been but look he's, he's certainly, he's paid his way and he's 
we enjoyed having him. He's just been hard. Yeah, well, he's obviously come back a little bit better this preparation, and for some reason, sometimes they just do and they don't, don't they? Some sometimes some preparations just don't go to plan, but they obviously come back a bit better this time. Yeah, well, we, everything seems to be going forwards now, so we're going to try and get him over up to 2,000 metres this time and see what happens. And uh, look, the string is going quite well. You brought a couple over here today. You got one in the last cloud, cloud cedar. Is it cloud? What's its name? That's a cloud cedar. Look, she's a schnitzel filly. Um, I think she's good enough to win a nice race eventually. Yeah. Um, John owns her. Yeah. I've got a bit of faith in her. If she handles the wet, I think she'll run well too. All right. Well, the pressure's on if John owns her. Look, well done with Frank and Beans, and good luck. Hopefully, we speak to you later on in the day. Thanks so much. There we go, Donna Grisdale, and uh, we just got the back of Jeff Penzer at the moment. We might have a quick chat to him. Jeffrey, you rode this fella before, Frank and Beans? Yeah, I think I rode him a while ago yeah, now, yeah. but uh, you know, probably a little bit out of form. Yeah. He tended today just to ride him a little bit quiet, but he was happy just to travel up pretty wide, coming to turn, yeah. and um, I thought he worked away pretty good. Mate, track, genuine heavy track, but we expected that. Yeah, no, very heavy at the moment, uh, very boggy, top of the straight. It's hard to find a good a good part to go on. But, uh, you know, it's safe, though? It seems alright so far. He got through it pretty good, that horse. Made it easier. Yeah. Well, someone's happy, mate. Well done. Right, thank you. There we go. A uh, bit of a rugged result. The second one for the day over her was a roughie in race four. And I couldn't have had him, Frank, and Beans myself. Max, he was the roughie of the field there. But, uh, look, he's, he showed a little bit more potential than he's probably delivered, as as was the case with a few of those runners there in that race, I, I believe. But Frank and Beans got up, and uh, it was too good for Kentucky Data. And she's got dreadful form on the wet, so... Better get the um, better get the format and go through the next, Maxie.